I'm ready to go. Okay, guys, RBG Ventures doing a uh, final walkthrough on cost analysis on our rehab project at 616 Sage. So second part to our first video. Um, we got through the first part of the house, the living, the kitchen, the front, and we're going to go through the remainder of the house now. So if you haven't seen the first part, go back and see the first part so this makes sense. Yeah. Okay, in our hallway here, we replaced all our doors with new six panel doors. We like to do the smooth doors here. We have our new uh, satin nickel handles, new shelf and pole, door casings. Baseboards, we do the three and a half inch baseboard, give a little more height in here, feel a little more Break substantial. that down to cost, like doors throughout the house as a package, would that? Uh, so? It really depends on the number of doors, so it's easier just to break it down per door. Okay. Uh, per door, you're looking at about $85 a door, and that's, that's, a, that's a brand new door, okay. new jam, pre-hung, and all your moldings to go around your doors. So moldings, mm -hmm. is this this section? This, this section here, this is your okay. casing around your door. So and your jam is what? The jam is this portion here. It's okay, the side. And this is a, and then you got jam. your door stop okay. on here, all your components. And then you're talking about hardware too. Yeah, is that and part then of that cost? Uh, no, you want to add probably. You know, it depends what you pick out. This costs us about fifteen dollars, so you want, you're looking at about hundred dollars total. Okay, you're, you're is that installed? Like, that is not installed. That's, that's just, just a hard. That's just your your hard material. Cost. Material cost, okay. So that that can vary from from area to area, and your and your contractor. Um, we pay about forty dollars. Um, to have our contractors put in this door for us. Okay. The baseboard, you can see down here, very inexpensive baseboard. Look at about 35 cents a linear foot, and you're looking about about 30 to 40 cents installed. So you're about 75 cents a linear foot to install uh, this size baseboard throughout the house. Okay. Uh, the light fixture you see up here, we always use this one. That light fixture costs us about $8 there. That's a ceiling mount light fixture. The bedroom, again, all neutral colors and paint. We do on the walls a flat uh, antique white from Home Depot Bear. The ceiling is a Swiss coffee flat ceiling paint, also a Bear product. And the doors and moldings are, we use actually a, what's a polar bear color, a white, and a semi gloss sheen. We added the ceiling fans in the bedrooms. These ceiling fans are about $50 right here, very economical, 42 inch blade. It costs us about $100 to have this ceiling fan, the cost of the fan and the installation of this fan is about $100. Okay. The bathrooms here, this is our first bathroom. We took the tub down to the studs, we make sure that the plumbing's good in here, make sure the diverter's good behind the shower handle, but what that component is, it's behind here, it's called a diverter, that's what's inside the wall, that's going to make your water go from hot to cold and open the valves and stuff in there. Okay. We always want to make sure our shower head's at least 78 inches high, which is 6 foot 6 inches. That's not quite good enough for Ty though. Not quite, <laughs> but uh, it's close. Um, replace the, the toilet here? Yep, yeah, replace the toilet, we replace the tub. This is a new Bootscast tub. This tub runs about $200. All our tiles surround here. This is a Brighton fill tile from Home Depot. That's about $2, $2.08 a square foot. And then we put in the accent border in there. It's about uh, $5.50, $6 per uh, foot for, per piece. So we got our shower costs us about $800 to have installed here, labor and materials. Hardware, what's included in that price? No, that's a plumbing. That's, a plumbing uh, issue? Okay. that's more of a plumbing thing there. It's not the, okay. the tile installation. Uh, cabinet here, this vanity is about $100. This is, uh, again, you know, prefabbed with the vanity and the, and the sink and the top, everything all, all one piece. Okay. Very inexpensive. We put in the new uh, messy cabinets, frameless, towel bar, rope hook behind the door. Uh, the towel bar here, the towel ring, the light fixture, the mirror, the faucet, the toilet paper holder, and a brand new toilet in every bathroom. What is our total cost in this bathroom, you think? Uh, we're right about uh, $2,500. $2,500, that's not bad for a bathroom. And this is our upgraded bathroom with the tile and, and all that right, stuff. Right, this is a tile bathroom, correct. Yeah, so we can get that cost down if we go with the, the fiberglass enclosure or something. Again, we have all our new vinyl dual pane windows in each bedroom. We like to do the mirrored wardrobe doors in here. It's about $150, 50 bucks to install them. So you get about $200 to put in mirrored 
portion of doors opposed to just wood doors in here, you're going to spend probably an extra fifty to seventy-five dollars, you know, to do this look here compared to just regular no, no, wood, wood doors. doors. Fifty to seventy-five more. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So, so wood doors would be about one hundred twenty-five. You're saying? Yeah, one hundred twenty-five, okay. one hundred fifty, right in there, depending okay. on the size. But you want to, in this case, we wanted to make the room feel a little bit bigger. That's what a mirror does for you. It makes it makes your space feel bigger. So you know, when you have small rooms, there's the little things you can do to offset the, and make you know, your place stand out. Right. The master's got a sliding glass door going out to out to the patio space. The walk-in closet it had a single shelf and pole in here. We we pulled that out and put in a double shelf and pole for more linear hanging space. We also add a, a little rack on this side for shoes or for folding, and we added a little small shelf and pole on this side for the, the dresses or robes or something for the for the women. And for, for us to do this, it costs us probably about uh, $200 to, to really? upgrade the this. Really? The whole closet? The whole closet. Like nice. This. The heat registers, we always uh, replace those, put those brand new. Those are anywhere from 6 to $10, depending on the size. Your uh, battery-operated uh, smoke detectors, those are about $5 a piece there. Now, this house you have battery-operated, but another one we have them wired in. What's the difference there? The reason why we have to do the hard wire is because we're doing a, a, a much more electrical upgrade on that house. So once you start um, uh, upgrading electrical here in San Diego, they want you to require to go ahead and hardwire your smoke detectors at, at that point. Okay, so if you don't have to upgrade electrical, then battery upgrade is fine. It's sufficient, yes. Okay. So this bathroom, master is about the same. You see the same field tile, the same border, the same fixtures. We went ahead and did the upgraded vanity with the extra couple drawers in here for storage and the solid surface countertop with a nice 8 inch spread um, faucet in here. So this vanity compared to the other vanity is about uh, $300 for the whole assembly here opposed to about 100 for the other vanity. So a much nicer vanity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then out in our patio space here, going back a lot of cleanup out here, but going back to our roofing costs, we had to redo this whole uh, patio cover here, so that's why our roofing costs was what That's where we got it, up to $3,800, then I thought it was a little high up front, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then it was just a cleanup job. On the, the banks back the here. Bank and the hill and everything. We put in this um, bamboo across here. This bamboo costs about $23 for 16 linear feet. And we put in the mulch out here to uh, finish off our, our backyard area. Excellent. All right. Any questions, Brian? No. Uh, what about some I need a spill for marketing here? What do we need to... Yeah, this is... Uh, so if you're wholesaling out there or you've done a rehab, haven't, we want you to make sure that you can go into a property, have a kind of an idea, estimate repairs. That way, you know, if you want to bring it over to us, we're, we're buying uh, wholesale properties. Uh, so educationally, if you've seen these videos, you want to see some before stuff, email us at hotdeals at RBD Ventures. We'll send you before and after pics. Uh, make sure you get all these videos and contact us if you'd like to start working with us. Need more education. We want you to be doing deals and uh, we can do some stuff here in San Diego. So. All right. Dustin, any final words on the project? Nope. You guys, uh, please contact us at Brian said, uh, 619-800-5005 or also at, uh, check out our website at rbdventures.com. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. As like Brian said, if you got any questions while you're on the field, feel free to email us. We'll do our best to help you out. I hope this video is pretty educational. Um, and there'll be more coming, and we'll be showing a lot more of this before and after to help out. You know, we're on this together, and that's how we view that. So we look forward to seeing you more. All right, bye.